Hello, today we are going to fix this metal halide lamp. This is quite interesting device. You can find them in shops because they provide a very, very nice amount of light. And also that light has a very good spectrum and make things appear real just like from a natural color they've got a very good balance white balance and yeah we are going to fix it because it's not working the operation for that lamp is that it's going to be mounted to the ceiling and this is the plug that's why it's got a very short lead everything is made of metal it's crazy heavy and because of the location and because it is so heavy we are going to replace also the bulb this is like a high intensive discharge bulb and we are going to take a look at this in a close-up I expect this lamp to be good but we are going to replace it anyway just because it's it has been taken out so we are not going to waste that possibility and we are going to mount this bulb and the other name is uh, HQI and this is a 150 watts so let's take it apart so i've got the ignition module those are the starting module if there will be fault in capacitor then i've got a bunch of them but most likely that's going to be fault i never had fail in the inductor so how to take it apart maybe first show you the model number this is the model number and the the bulb is a standardized and this is the the size to take it apart we are going to remove those screw that let us to adjust and we are going to remove it completely then we are going to remove those screws we do not have to remove the front And we are going to pull the whole assembly out. And we've got access to everything. We are not going to touch the bulb. I've got a glove for that operation. And here we've got the inductor they are in general never fold if they fail you'll see they are burn and the material from the core is melting and leaking out so that one is looking good the capacitor is also looking good and they do not fail often but if replacing the ignition will not resolve the problem then I will go for it they are standardized so there should be any problem so I'm just unscrewing the the top 
and this is the one that was mounted and here we've got the labels for for each connector we've got b lp and and the neutral and if you take a look over here over there we've got exactly the same markings you purchase them in a wide range of power so this one is dedicated from 70 watts to 400 watts i've got set of screwdrivers so we should be able to undo our wiring and we first start with the b which is exactly the on the same spot are we going to use the same screwdriver i believe yes and it's just matter of swapping the wires just like that our lp just like that and the last neutral here we've got uh, two wires but they are crimped together I will release it a little bit yeah we need a little bit more Okay, always the safety check, try pull, if nothing came out then we've got a good mount. We're going to release our screw and move the, the washer to the other end. That will prevent from undoing from vibrations and we are very lucky because that's the exactly the same size it fit perfectly perfect we've got a absolutely beautiful job this device for today is going to stay let's replace the the bulb they teach me to always use a glove reason for that i was told that oil from your skin is going to affect the cooling and you might get a piece of glass that cool down at the different rate the other and that is going to create a stress and might lead to breaking so this is how it looks like i believe there is uh, some sort of mercury inside yeah pretty interesting build and this is the new one That might be the mercury in some sort of amalgamate. And maybe I'm wrong. So how to mount it? The connectors are on side. And you are going to locate the, the tip. And just put it like this. And we've got a great connection on both hands and now we can slide it on and check 
whether it is a good fix. We are going to see where was the top and the top was where we got that black. And that part is black. So we know that this is a positive location. And let's try to plug it. I'm ready to plug it on. Question is, are we going to get a good fix? And I'm pretty sure that we've got. As you can see, we've got a really good fix and we've got a bright light. After some time, it's going to be a crazy, crazy white. Since we know that device is operational, we can put it back together just like it was. And we've got a very good quick fix. And as you can see, we've got a good fix. Everything is working perfect. The blinking is from the shutter speed aligned to the 50 Hz. But in real life, it gives us a very nice steady light. And this is how it is. So we've got a good fix. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.